All right, guys, so today we're going to be graphing using a table of values, okay? So what that means is we need letters to represent our x values, and we're going to plug them in for our x and get new y values, and then we're going to graph our cute little ordered pairs. Now, these graphs all count by ones, so you can pick any x values that you want that um, are on the grid. However, it's best to pick four right by the center, just in case this graph does anything that's kind of crazy. So I always like to pick negative two, negative one, zero, one, two. Okay, so these are my x values, and we're gonna plug each of these x values into our x on our equation to figure it's going to be. Okay, so what we wanna do is we want to take negative two, so our first equation is y equals 3x, but instead of x, we're going to replace it with this negative 2. When the 3 and the x sit right next to each other, it means multiply. So we're going to be multiplying our two numbers by each other. And we have to subtract 4. 3 times negative 2 is negative 6 minus 4. And negative 6 minus 4 is negative 10. So we're going to put that number up here, okay? Now our graph doesn't go to negative 10, so that number is not really great for us, but that's okay. We're gonna keep going. Okay, now we're gonna do the same thing that we just did, but instead of negative two, we're gonna plug in negative one. So we have y equals three. Remember again, when the number and the letter sit next to each other, it means multiply. So when we replace the x value, we're going to be multiplying by whatever number was there before, which is three. So three times negative one, and then we put the rest of the equation there, so minus four. 3 times negative 1 is negative 3, minus 4 is negative 7. Okay, now we're going to keep going. Oops, we just got to put it up on our table. Okay, now we're going to keep going, and we're going to plug in 0. So we have y equals 3 times 0 minus 4. Well, 3 times 0 minus 4 is negative 4. So we're going to plug in that number here. And keep going again and again. So now we have y equals 3 times 1 minus 4. 3 times 1 is 3 minus 4 is negative 1. So that number goes here. And you can just plug this into your calculator. Even here, you could plug all of this into your calculator. Just make sure they use parentheses. I'll show you with the next one. So we're doing 2 now to finish off this table of values. So y equals 3 times 2 minus 4. So we're just going to use our handy dandy calculator because why not? Okay, make sure they use lots of parentheses because we love parentheses. So we have 3 parentheses or 3 times 2. And then we're going to subtract off 4. So now what I wrote down is exactly what's in my calculator, which is perfect. Then we get 2. So y is equal to 2. So our y value, which goes on the y side, is 2. So now we're going to graph these. These are ordered pairs. So if we had parentheses and then our comma would be the line, this is our x value and this is our y value. Remember when you're graphing, the x values move left and right and the y values move up and down. On the x value, if you go left, that's negative. Right is positive, so that's left and right. And on the y value, up is positive and down is negative. Okay, so now we kind of have an idea, oh no, sorry, my cat, of how we're moving. Okay, so we have a dot at negative 2, negative 10, but again, negative 10 doesn't fit on our grid. Negative 1, negative 7, 5, really close, like right there. Okay, um, 0, negative 4, 1, to the right one and then down one because it's negative one and then two two is up here so now what we're going to do is we're going to connect all of our dots using a nice straight line that goes all the way from one edge of the grid to the other edge of the grid with arrows at the ends so that is how you graph using a table of values so now we're going to do another one let's try number four okay i'm going to pick the same values that i had for the first one uh, because it's really easy to just use those numbers and the closer you stay to zero then the better idea of you get what your picture looks like. Um, it's just easier that way. 
and it'll help you for later on math. Okay, so I pick the same numbers every time, negative 2, 1, 0, 1, and 2. So we're going to be plugging in our numbers into our equation. Okay, so let me just fold this over for you. Okay, so I have my equation this time is y equals negative 2. Now we're taking out the x value and replacing it with our new x value that we created, which is negative 2. Since my negative 2 is sitting next to my x, it means multiply, so that's what we're going to do. We multiply here, and then the rest of my equation is plus 2. So now we keep going. Negative 2 times 2 is negative 4, and negative 4 plus 2 is negative 2. So that is my y value that goes here. Okay, so let's do the next one. So y equals, we take out the x and we replace it with our new x value, which is, so we have negative 2 times negative 1, and then the rest of our equation, which is plus 2. So our y value is going to equal negative 2 times negative 1, which is 2. Oh no, 2 plus 2 is 4. Sorry guys. Negative 2 times negative 2 is a positive 4, and 4 plus 2 is positive 6. Just fix that guy. My bad. Mistakes, they happen. Okay, so now my 4 goes here. We're going to keep going. We're going to be very careful this time with our cute little negatives. Okay, so equals negative 2 times 0, and then the rest of the equation, which is plus 2. Negative 2 times 0 is 0, plus 2 is 2. So then here. Okay, and then again, so I have y equals negative 2 times 1 plus 2. Negative 2 times 1 is negative 2 plus 2 is 0. Okay, positive 2. So y equals negative 2 times 2 plus 2. Negative 2 times 2 is now, it's negative 4 plus 2. Okay, and this makes sense because it's going from big numbers down to small numbers, which is what we want to see. Either we want to see them decreasing or we want to see them increasing, but never both. Okay, so now we're going to graph these guys on our grid. So these are our ordered pair. Um, we have negative 2 and positive 6, so here. Then we're going to go negative 4, so this is a decreasing slope, 0, 2, 1, 0, and then 2, negative 2. After you get your dots drawn, then you want to draw a nice long line that's straight with arrows at the ends. It's not a dot to dot, so you don't want to make like little jaggedy lines. You want to make a nice straight long. Let's talk about one more, and then you'll have a chance to practice some on your own. So on number 3, I don't have any extra numbers here, but remember, I kind of do. This cute little negative in front is really the same thing as y equals negative 1 times x. But mathematicians are lazy and they don't write that one. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing. We're going to make a table of values and we're going to graph this equation. So we're going to pick the same exact numbers, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2. Again, you can pick any x values that you want to, so that's these numbers on this x. But I like to stick really close to 0. And those are the numbers that I normally pick. Okay, so let's do this one more time. So we're going to start with negative 2. We're going to take out our x value and replace it. But this time, I'm just multiplying these numbers. I don't have anything extra to add or subtract at the end. So it's y equals negative 1 times negative 2. Well, that's going to be 2. Okay, well, that's fast. Okay, let's do another one. So y equals negative 1 times negative 1, and that is 1. Okay, so y equals negative 1 times 0. y equals negative 1 times 1 is negative 1. And y equals uh, negative 1 times 2, which is negative 2. Okay, so now we have all of our values and we're going to graph. So we're going to go to the left to the negative 2 on our x value and we're going to go up 2 on our y value. Then we're going to go to the left 1, up 1. This is also decreasing. 0, 0, 1, negative 1, and 2, negative 2. Okay, nice straight line. Oops, I missed a little with arrows at the ends. 
So this is how you graph a table of values and your lines using them. Have a great day. Bye.